Hey guys, thank you very much for watching these videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopers. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about detecting objects in your images using template matching, meaning you're going to define a template and the system is going to find all other objects in the image that matches with the template that you actually picked. So let me explain what I basically mean by showing you an example here. Okay, so here is my image and I have a few F16s in this image. Okay, now I pick a template saying that, okay, uh, just a second, let me pick the, uh, there you go. So I have this template, show me all the regions where uh, this template actually fits. Okay, detect all the objects that actually fits this template. So this is our goal. And first let's do for one object and then let's actually do detect multiple objects. Okay, starting with the first one. So again, we need one source image and a template image. And the template image is actually slided over the source image, uh, almost like a 2D convolution. And the program actually tries to find the match. And how does it do that? It uses a bunch of statistics. And we can pick which statistical metric to actually use. So let's uh, jump in again. It, it's not as fancy as it sounds or as complicated as it sounds. But let's uh, go ahead and, uh, as usual, let me uh, copy and paste a few lines of code uh, so I can explain them. And this part you should be uh, uh, aware of. Uh, of course, we are using OpenCV to read our actual image. Okay and uh, the template image. Okay, so here is my template image. And uh, again, I, I, I just divided this into, this could have been just one line, read the image as gray, just like I'm doing with my template. But since I've written the code, so be it. Okay, now, uh, when you actually slide this over the template, let's uh, open this image again. When this is slid over this image, it's actually looking at this entire region, right? So top left corner, is our reference frame and it's actually moving this image by using the top left corner okay so uh, when the template matches we would like to note the top left corner location and then draw a box around the region where it actually matches so in order to do that i need to know the height and width of this template image so i can easily draw the draw the rectangle and that's exactly why i'm actually uh, finding out the height and width of my template image and this comes out to be in fact if i run this entire code we should be able to see these values up here my height is 144 width is 148 okay so far so good nothing tricky now this is the i mean I, i'm gonna just copy and paste a single line right here this does the job. So it creates this image over here and the statistics it's going to use, again, this uh, the template matching is part of OpenCV, cv2.match template. And it takes your uh, input image and the template image and what statistical metric do you want to use? I'm using minimum square difference in this case, which means wherever there is a minimum number, that's where the match is the highest. Okay, I hope that uh, makes sense. In fact, I wasn't planning on showing these other steps, but let me just go ahead and paste this so you understand this. There, are, uh, These are all the methods, statistical methods that are available. Some uh, coefficient, again, go ahead and look at the documentation, coefficient normalized and uh, C corrected normalized correlation, I think that's what that is, and the square difference is what I'm using. Except for the square difference, all these other ones, Please remember this. I made this mistake and it drove me crazy because I didn't read the documentation. Except for the square difference, everything else, the maximum value is where the, the best fit is. For the minimum square difference, because we are trying to minimize the difference, the minimum value is where the match is actually good. Okay, please remember that key point. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, actually go ahead and uh, plot what we have here. RES, okay, let me go ahead and plot it. And we should see almost like a, a probability map. In fact, I did not run the match template, so let's run these lines together. So we should actually see an image on the bottom right where at every pixel, it shows a probability of the template matching that specific uh, box right around there. So as you can see, wherever you see these tiny dots, like these pixels, that's where the template actually matched perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but very well. Okay, now how do we find out what those numbers are? Again, 
there's a function right so min max and look uh, in OpenCV let's go ahead and use that again I've used this a couple of times in my previous tutorials so min max and uh, uh, you know uh, min max look and res is our data set our image over there and I'm extracting minimum value maximum value minimum location and maximum location okay so uh, in fact if we run this you should be able to see on the top right our minimum value is 59,840 and minimum location is 945 and 313. Location is a pixel space, right? I mean, it's a, in, in our coordinate system here. So it's it's 945 by 313. Okay, so somewhere 945, 313, somewhere around here is uh, maybe this airplane, this F-16 is the match. Okay, so that's what that location is. Again, because I'm using square, TM square difference, this is why I'm looking at the minimum. If it's the other way around, you would be looking at your maximum values, okay? So please uh, experiment with that. Now, let's actually uh, try to draw a rectangle on the, uh, on the original image. To do that, I'm going to define my top left as the minimum location. Remember, that's where the match actually starts. And my bottom right location is my top left plus whatever the width of the image is. That's exactly why we actually did this exercise to find out what the width is. And then same with the top left plus height, right? So I'm defining my uh, uh, location for my bottom right. And then I'm do using my OpenCV uh, CV2 dot rectangle to draw uh, a rectangle in uh, 255 color, which is our white, okay, on top of the image. And two is the line thickness or the pen thickness. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and uh, visualize uh, what we have done here. And let's run this entire code one more time. And oh, it's on my other screen, so let me go ahead and drag it. There you go. So this is uh, the image that matched very well with this template. In fact, I did crop out this part and then created my template, so I'm not surprised that this actually matched very well. So for the next part of this exercise, let's actually uh, uh, use a different image, but I hope this makes sense. Yeah, how we can detect objects in an image using this template matching. Now, what good is detecting only one? Let's actually detect multiple. And how can we detect multiple? In this exercise, I'm only drawing, I mean, it already detected, right? It already did the job when it did match template. All I'm doing is choosing only the minimum one to draw. What if I actually choose uh, a set a threshold of, okay, I don't want only the minimum, but anything that has uh, a probability of uh, above 0 0.8, I, I'm okay you know, with that. So let's actually do that for the next part of the exercise. And in this case, uh, I was thinking if, uh, let me copy and paste up to the point where it makes sense, and then I'll explain. Pretty much the same thing. This time I'm reading an image called bubbles.png. Again, these are like, uh, let's say, this could be a microscope image and I have a template of a small bubble that I actually am reading. Again, my height and width, I'm reading them here and uh, uh, I'm matching the template like usual and let's go ahead and show the, uh, show the probabilities there you go this image has a whole bunch of uh, bubbles and uh, i picked one of these bubbles as my template i want the image to show all the other regions other bubbles that match this bubble okay right now all i'm showing is you is the probability in a way think of this as probability map or the ranking map and here i'm actually using tm coef norm this is not the square difference okay so this means I'm going to look at the maximum values, not the minimum values. But instead of one, let's actually look at multiple, okay? First of all, let me define uh, something called a threshold. Let's say, okay, threshold is like 0 0.8. And uh, wherever uh, the threshold is greater than this value. And by the way, if you look at RES values right now, let me open the RES values because you need to understand what the values are trying to convey. I just set a threshold of 0 0.8, but what does that actually mean? Think of this, when you do this uh, co TM coefficient normed, it's almost like probability, okay? One is an absolutely perfect match, and you see like values of 0 0.16, 0 0.19, 0 0.21, this means there is a uh, higher probability that there is a uh, matching right around there. That's for this. Previously, when we used mean square, I didn't know, the numbers can be anything. 
that's why I picked this parameter, this statistical method for this specific exercise. Okay, so I can easily define my threshold and I define my threshold as 0 0.8. So show me all locations where my threshold is 0 0.8. And uh, for easy, what shall we do? Uh, for easy way, in fact, uh, I think I have some, yeah, these two lines, let me copy. And uh, here you go. So what I'm trying to do here is instead of just one, we have many locations, right? So for all those locations for PTN, again, you I don't have to explain this. I did this in my previous tutorials. So uh, for all of these locations, okay? Uh, and minus one is to swap the values because we are assigning X and Y coordinates to draw the rectangle. Uh, and uh, so, so for all of these locations, draw a rectangle around each object, okay? And we know the top left, so again, pretty much the same thing. Top left plus width, uh, bottom right plus height, and then uh, draw a rectangle in RGB. Looks like I selected a blue uh, uh, rectangle right there, and all, I, all we need to do now is to just visualize it, okay? Let me just uh, paste my code to visualize here, and let's run this whole thing one more time. So here you go. So this is our output image where uh, I picked a template of uh, one of these. And as you can see, it's actually showing me all other, if you want to call them bubbles or nodules or inclusions, it's showing me the image, even though they are very close by, it's actually showing me all the regions where it actually matches within 0 0.8. You can, of course, change this to 0 0.7, 6 or something, 0 0.6. And then uh, hopefully we should see more of these bubbles, okay? So there you go. So now you know how to actually use template matching to identify objects, provided you have a template in your images. I hope you find this tutorial to be very useful. Again, let's uh, meet in the next tutorial with another fun topic. Thank you very much.